hello everyone all of my beautiful people i thank you for coming back to my channel tuning in and watching your girl miss l so i just want to give a big shout out to all of my subscribers i want to thank you everyone for their constructive feedback all of their their views i want to thank everyone for just tuning in and watching my haul i thank you so much i hope that i've been able to um, give you some type of you know pleasure in watching my videos continue to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when i upload a video also continue to comment subscribe to my channel and just come on back so we can all love one another embrace one another and just be thankful for today and with that i do want to just take time out to say that with all that's going on in the world you guys over the past three weeks, I mean, we've had some devastating things happen here. And you guys, I just want to say that we have to start embracing one another. We have to start being thankful for today, being thankful for each other, and just making this world a better place to live in. And, you know, I just want to say, you know, sometimes we can get beside ourselves and say things that we don't mean. So if you, you need to reach out to your loved ones, you know, apologize to someone that you feel like, you know, may have done you wrong or they may have done you wrong. Just being a bigger person and just embracing that humanity is a blessing. So with that, you guys, I thank you for all of your views, like I said, and I hope that I'm pleasing to you guys to show you what I did pick up. As I stated in my last video, I was able to go back to that mall once again and pick up some items. I didn't go overboard that day, but I did manage to go back yesterday and pick up some items. And you guys, I want you all to come on back for that for that massive, massive haul. Um, this, this haul is going to be on the single wick and the trial candle you guys that has so many on the floor and I got overboard I did go overboard just to let you guys know but I also want to let you guys know that I will be selling some of my candles um, that I purchased on Macari so I will link that information down below so if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from my um, from my store uh, just I thank you I appreciate you I hope that you know it's something that you like hopefully something that you might see something that you want so thank you guys so without further ado we're just gonna jump right on into this haul so we can get things rolling because after this video I have to record another video and that is for that massive candle haul so, without further ado, the first thing on my list, this is a small bag. Thank goodness. <laughs> I was able to pick up some body care off of the 75% table. Some old and some new. But of course, it doesn't matter. If it's something that you like, hey, you might as well get it while it's there because you never know when you're going to see it again. So I was able to pick up the Happy Vibes. I, I was able to find one more. And these little trial um, shower gels, they come in handy. And I do have the complete set of this. I've had, I know, for at least two or three years. So... I didn't, I never, I never got the shower gel, got a chance to get the shower gel. So I do have it now. So that is Happy Vibes. I spent 69 cents on these because they have been around for a while. And the price was $5.50 on those. Okay. Um, the next one that I picked up was Midnight Peony. And this was an Ultra Shea Cream. And I do not know when this fragrance came out, um, when this line came out, but it smells amazing. And of course, it might be old, 
Um, so I'm not sure how how old, but I did check it to make sure that it does not have that yellowish tint. And this one is white, so I did pick that up. And the key notes read raspberry leche, sparkling prosecco, and toasted vanilla. are the notes very good smells very good all right the next item that I picked up is a Christmas package item and that is in the snowy citrus swirl beautiful packaging I don't remember this packaging I don't know um, I'm not into many different Christmas scents. I love winter candy apple and twisted peppermint. And a couple of other ones that I picked up are Christmas scents. And so the key notes on this one is chilled tangerine, whipped marshmallow, creamy tonka bean, and fresh vanilla. And again, that is snowy citrus swirl. And I also was able to pick up the shower gel in that one. So I was pleased to find something different. And orange actually smells really good. It's, it's very good. I like the smell of it. I will buy this if it came back out this year. So a newer... Um, fragrance that I picked up is the Bonfire, the Bonfire Bash, and this one is good, smoky, it reminds me of Marshmallow Fireside, I think that's what attracted me to this fragrance, um, and it's just that deep, dark musk that just, it does something to me, I don't know what it is, but I love it. So the fragrance notes read vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. And that is Bonfire Bash. And I know this came out with the um, red, white, and blue set that came out for like Memorial Day and um, Memorial Day weekend or somewhere around in that, that time frame. So the next item that I was able to pick up is the Be Joyful. And I did not see this last year, so I'm not sure when this came out, but it smells pretty good. Packaging is in great shape. And the key notes read sparkling clementine, golden mango, Frosted Jasmine, Winter Melon, and Shimmering Sugar. And it's really good. It smells amazing. And it doesn't even have a price sticker on it, so I don't even know what the original price of it would have been. And then I was also able to pick up that same fragrance in the shower gel. Just a beautiful packaging. They should release re-release this packaging and this scent this is this is good this is great very fruity very feminine just great so other items that I was able to pick up are some decorations and decor you know, they package everything. They have to wrap everything, of course. They use a lot of paper. <laughs> I can't say that about Bath & Body Works. They tend to use a lot of paper. I'm like, okay, let's save the planet. But, all right. So, the first item was this Halloween spooky tree. Um... This tree reminds me of the tree on the Adams Family, you guys. It has the little bats in there. 
is black and glittery. And by the way, Adam's Family is my favorite movie. I don't know why. I love the cartoon. I cannot wait for it to come out in the movie theaters. I will be there. So yeah. So the original price on this tree was $17.50. I spent $4 and some change on this tree. It's gonna go great with that um, decor that I also picked up. The Halloween decor. away because it's glittery <laughs> so the next two items it's gonna be so beautiful oh my goodness my my living room and my dining room is they're not white it, it doesn't even have white you know throughout the decor but I'm going to I'm going to include this I'm going to make it work if I have to go get a white throw my my living room and my dining room is red I have red apple decor and just red and like dark golds and of that color. This might work. I don't know. I'm going to have to make something happen. And the original price on these are $14.95. And I did spend $3 on these. Very pretty. All right. So the next few items that I was able to pick up are these cute little pumpkins. These pumpkins are toppers for your candles. I did remember seeing these last year, so. I know for a fact they were, these were in the store last year, but I thought they were just so freaking cute and they were only 33 cents. The original price was $3.95. burgundy would go right along with my decor and I do have some orange in my decor but no white <laughs> but hey we're gonna make it work so on to my next purchase little items in this bag that I've already pulled out and that are these beautiful pedestals or candle holders um, pedestals and these are Christmas I believe these are Christmas um, either Christmas or fall you can probably use them for either one of those holidays um, it just has the squirrel, the owl, the fox, and the raccoon. And I just thought they were really cute for $4. And the wood actually matches my living room and my dining room. Because my dining room, I have a wooden table. And my living room set has wood base on the bottom. So, yeah. And these... Uh, original price was $16.95 and 
these were really cute hey let me incorporate over time i'm sure to have different colors in there that will actually match my my decor in my living room they're really cute really cute they actually had a lot of these but when i went in the store yesterday they cleaned them out <laughs> so in this big bag i have the grand finale excuse the light my um, ring light is going in and out I don't know why but I was able to pick up a picnic basket you guys I have been eyeing this picnic basket for ever I just refuse to pay $200 for this picnic basket. $200. I just I just could not do it. I could not do it. And to be honest with you, I did not want to purchase this for 75% off, which came up to $50. But I said, you know what? If I want it, I better get it. At least I'll have it if I plan on using it, and if not, I can always take it back or possibly resell it. I don't know, but that's one thing that I want to do with my children is to go on a picnic before it gets cold again. Or, you know, right when fall starts to come in, we get that first little breeze. I think it'll be really, really nice. Really nice. So... I'm gonna open up the basket so I can show you guys exactly what's on the inside. As you can see, it has the buckle straps here on the top to keep it um, closed. Nice leather straps, I must say. Um, really good quality. The basket weave feels very sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap or like it will, you know, just give out on you anytime. But I don't know. I've never had a picnic basket and I've never been on a picnic. So this is my first time <laughs> exploring a picnic basket. So on the inside, it has the branding Sunny Life there in on the leather. And it has your utensils, a fork, a spoon, and a, a knife. And it has two saucer plates. And as you can see, beautiful leather strapping. It also has another um, fork spoon and a knife and then here is a wine opener a wine bottle opener a cork opener and then on the inside of the basket it comes with a wine bottle holder very good detailing very cute and then it comes with two this feels like a plexiglass wine cups it's really cute so for fifty dollars hmm still a bit pricey but the joy of using this basket is what i'm thinking about you know just the memories that i can build with with this basket you know and like i said i do plan on taking my children which are grown, I must say, grown. I have a 19 year old daughter who will be 20 here in a couple weeks. And then I have my son who just turned 23 on July the 2nd. So yeah, it's almost like I have to schedule time with them if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, 
so yeah hopefully it all works out but that's what I plan on doing with this basket it's just going out and enjoying memories get a nice little um, blanket to put down hopefully I can find one that has the same pattern as the inside of the basket the glue gingham pattern and go from there so once again this is the basket I gotta tuck that in I'll do that in a little bit I just want you guys to see it's very sturdy doesn't feel you know cheap or whatnot um, quality is good so Thank you guys for tuning in once again coming back to watch me um we are one big happy family here so i appreciate you guys i hope that you like this video share it comment subscribe hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i upload